The finals of the British Colleges Sports Championship for Rugby required a grand stage and it was provided with the six-way stadium and the home of the Aviva Premiership side, the Worcester Warriors. Myersco College, based just north of Preston, boasts one of the country's best academy teams in the under-19s, with England and Fijian internationals playing side by side. But it was their young under-18s who took to the field first in what many had anticipated as a close game against Southampton's Brockenhurst College. But it wasn't to be, and Brockenhurst ran out eventual dominant 42-18 winners. It was then up to the senior side to restore pride in the biggest game of many of their rugby careers. Now this is the culmination of two years for some of these boys. College work, college training and everything they've put in to the last two years of their rugby life comes down to 80 minutes. Myersco had the perfect start when captain Eddie Webster scored this wonderful try a little over two minutes into the game, putting the northwest side into a commanding position but victory was snatched away in the 78th minute as College Sergar ran over the try line with this vital score. But they got a breakaway try and it was just devastating to see them cross the line. Really. Absolutely devastated because all the hard work we put in, I think everyone put 100% in all the game, all the way through the week and through the two years really. And just that last moment, it was just heartbreaking really. With the loss coming in such a heartbreaking way, Academy Director Steve Goff told me how hard it was for the boys to take. Well, for young lads to actually um, go through that for the first time is, is a really difficult kind of uh, difficult for them to, to kind of react to. But, you know, a week down the line, it's forgotten and they move on and hopefully move on to bigger and better things within their own careers. Final minute heartbreak then for Myers Co College, but today that they're sure to remember. Oliver Hughes, Northwest News, Worcester.